The Coalition Memorial consists of three underground facilities. The first is the Outer Museum, in which a number of relics and memorabilia important to the Coalition are preserved and displayed. The second is the Alpha Mausoleum, a set of four empty sarcophagi, reserved for the remains of the first Coalition Strike Team, in anticipation of the day when they shall be returned to us and laid to rest in their proper place. The third is the Grid, the Coalition's Columbarium, in which the cinerary urns or relics of every fallen Coalition operative is stored. There are 12 men in a shift. Each shift begins precisely at midnight or noon, Greenwich Mean Time. One hour before the shift change, the doors to the outer chamber will be opened, and your shift will assemble in the hallway leading to the outer chamber. A uniform and weapon inspection will take place at this time. Your uniform will be the dress black uniform, and it will be perfectly pressed and cleaned. Your grooming will be immaculate. Your weapon, an M1 Garand that was used during the Second World War, will be in perfect firing condition. It will be unloaded and safed, but a full clip of ammunition will be carried on your person, and it will have a fixed bayonet shined to a mirror polish. Failure to maintain standards may result in your dismissal from the guard. The shift begins with the changing of the guard. The shift that is coming off duty will verbally report any changes in situation to the oncoming shift. The shift leader will relieve the prior shift of duty, and they will file out of the chamber at a measured and respectful pace. The guard has three duties which they must carry out. The first duty is to maintain the watch. At all times except during the first and last hour of the shift, there shall be two guards in the chamber of the Alpha Mausoleum. There is a three and a half meter wide red carpet in the center of the mausoleum, and it is 14 meters in length. The patrol begins with two guards stationed on opposite sides of the carpet, exactly 13.75 meters apart. Hash marks have been placed on the carpet for this purpose. Beginning with the right foot, they will march at a pace of one 0.625 meter stride per second for 21 seconds before halting and waiting 21 seconds. They will then perform a right face, take 5 steps forward, and wait a further 10 seconds. They will then perform a second right face, take 21 steps forward, before halting and waiting for 21 seconds. They will then perform a right face, take 5 steps forward, and wait a further 10 seconds. They will then make a final right face, returning to their starting position. If the circuit is performed properly, it should take two minutes to complete one full circuit. Twenty-five full circuits will be performed each hour, giving ten minutes for a changing of the guard. Each member of the guard, except for the shift leader and assistant shift leader, will perform this duty twice per twelve-hour shift, once while beginning their patrol in the inner position, and a second time beginning their patrol at the outer position. The shift leader will assign watches, and be responsible for coordinating the changing of the guard. In addition to maintaining the vigil at the Alpha Mausoleum, every three hours beginning at one hour past the beginning of the shift, ten members of the guard will perform the patrol of the grid. The grid is a rectangular lattice of tunnels cut into the stone. Each tunnel is three meters tall and three meters wide. Beginning at the entrance to the grid, each member of the guard will walk their assigned patrol route. If all ten guards walk their route perfectly, there will be no collisions, and all ten will return to the entrance of the grid at exactly 50 minutes after the patrol begins, in time for the changing of the guard at the Alpha Mausoleum. The second duty of the guard is the maintenance of the facility. The first hour of the shift will be devoted to the inspection and cleaning of the Alpha Mausoleum. Any dust or debris must be removed, and the shift leader will perform a white glove inspection at the end of the hour, before the first patrol is assigned. In addition, during the last hour of the shift, all 12 members will inspect and clean a section of the grid or outer museum, assigned by the facility supervisor. Again, 
any dust or debris must be removed, and the shift leader will perform a white glove inspection at the end of the hour, before assembling to stand relieved and go off duty. Any damage to the grid or mausoleum is to be reported to the facility supervisor as soon as possible. The third duty of the guard is the protection of the facility. The guard will remain ever vigilant against intrusion, mishap, or natural disaster. They will watch over the grid and mausoleum and will faithfully discharge their duty to our honored dead. When not actively patrolling, guards are allowed to rest in the lounge provided in the outer museum. At all times, they shall act with decorum and respect appropriate to the hallowed nature of this facility. Additional duties may also arise due to special circumstances, such as holidays or the internment of a fallen comrade. Your vigil will be a lonely one. There are few visitors to this place. The sun does not shine here. The only light you will see will be from the light bulbs overhead. And this is where you will remain for 12 hours every three days. But as lonely as your duty is, it will be a sacred one. For you have been entrusted with protecting those of your comrades who have given their lives to protect humanity. Here are the remains of those who have died unknown to the ones they saved. Carry out your duties perfectly. Make them proud. Training begins at 0500 hours tomorrow. Dismissed. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.